Killing your customers is not generally considered good business practice. Tobacco companies excel at marketing coffin nails. I should know. I used to work for one. While there is a lot of hyperbole around cigarettes, this is generally centered on the act of smoking. This series of films looks at the wider issues of the tobacco industry. Issues that tobacco companies would rather you didn't know and certainly don't want you raising questions about. Now I would be the first to hold my hand up and say I'm a hypocrite. I work for a tobacco company and I never even smoked a cigarette. I could try and justify to myself I'm in marketing and cigarettes are just another product. But what other products kill over 4 million customers a year? 120,000 in the UK alone. To put into context, that's the population of a town the size of Chester or Norwich dying every year. Tobacco companies are well versed on selling the lie. I can't live that lie anymore. Now I want to show you the bigger picture, what really lies behind the smoke and mirrors. Cigarette butts or filters are the most common form of litter in westernised countries. Approximately 4.5 trillion toxic, non-biodegradable filters end up on our streets to join their discarded packs and cellophane wrappers. Fish, birds, animals and even children have been known to eat these filters. They can cause blocked digestive and excretory systems, poisoning and even death. All of which are preventable if the filters were deposited responsibly. neglected to implement steps to minimise the effects of discarded filters. They haven't even printed do not litter slogans on their packs, or even on the cigarettes itself. Now why is this? Well by acknowledging the problem of cigarette litter, the tobacco industry would be buying to a social cost argument against smoking. Although no litter campaign may be useful to tobacco companies, they would never be implemented before a comprehensive cost benefit analysis had taken place. It's obvious the tobacco industry cares little for the environment. However, government and public opinion can force the hands of these greedy corporations and hit them where it hurts. Shouldn't tobacco companies be held responsible for cleaning up our streets and water supply? The global epidemic of the tobacco industry not only endangers smokers' health, but threatens tobacco farmers and their families, pollutes the air we breathe, destroys insects and microorganisms, depletes the ozone layer, contaminates the soil and water supply and makes ashtrays of our streets. We all should question the sustainability and sanity of the tobacco industry.